He started at CHCH News almost 11 years ago, and you've welcomed him into your living rooms as the 6 o'clock news anchor since 2016. Phil Perkins is leaving us, but not before we give you a quick look back at his time here. We do it morning lifestyle. You don't know how to take him in that first little while, and I think that goes for our viewers as well too, but he wears on you. <laughs> and, and, he, and he's a guy that grows on you. And then you get to understand him and the humor and, you know, just the, the, the philisms, as if, uh, if you can call it that. Hey there, Taz. Right on Main Street here in Port Dover, and I'll be honest with you, I'll tell you a little personal story. My first day here at CHCH was on a Friday the 13th in July of 2012, and I'll tell you what, the crowds here are way bigger than that. Take a look at all the Phil has the best one-liners that I will remember forever. He always says geese. He always says night night <laughs> when he's saying bye to somebody. I don't know why. I wrote that in his goodbye card. Night night. <laughs> I had to get used to his language. I didn't know what geese meant. He really grows on you. He's got a, a language of his own. He's introduced me to the to words I've never heard of before. Geese, ba, yarn. Get ready, Toronto viewers. He's coming your way. Kind of exercise, not too hot and uh, not cold either. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> You've been to too many concerts, Phil. <laughs> I have no idea. What I was I really intimidated by Phil when I first started working with him because you know he has a very um, outgoing personality. Twenty-four years in the making, no championships for the city of Toronto. Phil was always enthusiastic in the newsroom. He was great to work with, um, and I was just excited to see and hear whatever stories he came in with every day. It's been really nice these past 11 years watching Phil grow as a journalist and also as a husband and a father. He's just a wonderful friend and co-worker, and we're really going to miss him, and we're so incredibly proud of him. He'll be missed a lot. He really will. He's got a, a really unique sense of humor. He's not afraid to speak his mind. He's a team player has the cutest two-year-old son I've ever met in my entire life, and we're, we're really going to miss him. We started this riding of Burnaby South, and then made his way to downtown Vancouver, and that's where we caught up with him. Thanks, Shout out to Louis. That's how he moved keep bringing him here. Living the dream, baby. One last time, at least here. Last time here.